Western Crete is a uniquely varied place, a land of contrasts with a whole range of vegetational zones, from the coast to the moonlight peaks of the White Mountains. Snow melting in spring soaks into the ground and starts its long journey down to the plains, where it gushes out in icy springs, feeding rivers and lakes, cool and green in the heat of summer. Mountain plains spring their surprises, opening up suddenly before you. Patchworks of fields, oases of fertility cut off from the world. It takes time to get to know the island. You have to leave the towns and tourist centers and venture into their hinterland, exploring routes to villages often dramatically sighted on hilltops or in remote places. two springs. 50 meters deep, its surface is 50 meters above sea level and its bed 25 meters below it. Water cascades down the hillside at Agiropoli. Just the name Svakya conjures up ragged scenery, gorges, roads snaking up to impossible heights, panoramic views over the Libyan Sea, a pure environment, a people renowned for hardiness. The lake at Aya, close to Hanya, is the main water source for the city and a haven for birds. Fields in spring with their livestock, sheep and goats, bees gathering pollen from the blooming orange and lemon trees, the vines newly pruned, vines of many varieties, 
each producing its own distinctive wine. Crete is rich in wild plants, 2,100 species, of which 300 are endemic. Gorges are particularly rich habitats. Wherever you go, you will catch scents of herbs, both familiar and new. Marjoram, mint, sage, oregano. Knowledge of the use of these herbs in medicine and cooking is still widespread. Another unique feature of Crete are its gorges, of which there are about a hundred, thirty of which are in the west. They are testimony both to the enormous forces that have raised the mountains and to the power of water that for over two million years has sliced them like a wedding cake. The staining of their rocks, the trees that root in cliffs, the flowering plants that hang from rock walls, and the part that gorges have played in Cretan history as rootways and refuges make them a distinctive part of the character of the island. mountain plain at an altitude of 1,080 meters. The road runs across it heading south, climbs and reaches its end at Xiloskala, the wooden steps. Opposite us, the precipitous grey cliffs of Mount Kigilos. Before us, one of the most awesome sights in Europe, the Samaria Gorge. 16 kilometers long, varying in width between 150 meters and 3.5 meters. The walk takes between five and six hours, and the path is open between May and October. The gorge has been awarded the certificate of the Council of Europe as a region of untouched wilderness and beauty, and it has also been designated as a national park in order to preserve its rare flora and fauna, notable examples of which are the bearded vulture and the Cretan wild goat, Creepy. The first part of the way down lies through a seemingly unending series of zigzags, a drop of 1,000 meters within a distance of two kilometers. About halfway through the gorge, we come to the village of Samaria, abandoned since 1965, when the area was designated a national park. even more dramatic. The walls close in. Strata in the surrounding rocks sway in waves, shoots vertically up, cut by faults. Caves gape open. Cliffs are stained ochre, rust and grey in the streets. the iron gates, where the gorge is at its narrowest, the rock walls soaring up about 600 meters around you. into another world, the warm, dry south. Time for a whirl and swim at Ayurameli, a 
for something to eat in one of the many tavernas before catching the boat back to Boris Vakim. <laughs>